would benefit most from reading your book? Uh, the hero of the story is, is human resources, but I intended the book for a sales audience. When I speak about the book at conferences and things like that, I'm often asked to speak about it um, at a sales conference, or I'm asked to speak about the book at a human resources conference to, to an HR audience. And so I say to the sales audience, um, this is what you should expect of HR, right, of learning. They can do this, they should do this, they don't know how to do this, but they have the capability and the resources available. You need to demand that they rise to that occasion, and here are the tools to go make that happen, right? You should be asking these questions. And then I present to the HR audience, and I say, guess what I just told your boss, right? Guess what I just told your client? That basically, if you're not doing this, you should be fired because you're not serving your client's needs, right? Your client needs you to drive greater productivity of the workforce, and you're not really doing it, but here's how, right? So I wanted the message to be to business leaders about HR, but I knew if I wrote the book to the HR professionals that business leaders, the sales leaders wouldn't read it. So it's a sales book about HR, if that makes sense.